हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस कंटिन्यू आवर डिस्कशन ऑफ रेडिक्स टू डी आई टी एफ एफ टी एलगोरिदम इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द फर्स्ट स्टेज इन डेसीमेशन ऑफ टाइम एफ एफ टी फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू एट एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव कंप्लीटेड विथ द सेकेंड स्टेज इन डेसीमेशन ऑफ टाइम एफ एफ टी फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू एट नाउ लेट अस कंटिन्यू द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेसीमेशन वी कैन रिप्रजेंट each n by 4 d of t as 2 n by 8 point d of t's so we can represent each n by 4 d of t's as 2 n by 8 point d of t's so in the previous lecture we had uh, we had decomposed n by 2 point d of t as n by 4 point d of t for this n by 4 point d of t We will decompose it into n by eight point d of t. For this, let us consider this uh, two point d of t, which is having x of zero and x of four. Let us consider two point d of t of x of zero and x of four. The two point d of t of x of zero and x of four. can be represented as a of k is equal to summation of n is equal to 0 to n by 4 minus 1 x of n w n by 4 to the power of k n for k value ranging from 0 to n by 4 minus 1 in example we have taken n is equal to 8 If we take n is equal to eight, we can write the above equation as a of k is equal to summation of n is equal to zero. Here eight by four, it will be two. Two minus one, it will be one. X of n, w. Here eight by four, it is two. W two to the power of k n for k value ranging from zero to one. Again here, if uh, n is equal to 8 8 by 4 it will be 2 2 minus 1 it will be 1 here k value is ranging from 0 to 1 so we can write for k is equal to 0 a of 0 is equal to x of 0 plus w2 to the power of 0 x of 4 so here since we are considering only two terms x of 0 and x of 4 so this is the first term and this is the second term and we have taken this twiddle factor value for k is equal to 1 we can write a of 1 is equal to x of 1 plus w2 to the power of 1 x of 4 now let us represent the signal flow graph for this equation so we can write two input signals as x of 0 and x of 4 the output is a of 0 and a of 1 to get a of 0 it is x of 0 plus w2 to the power of 0 x of 4 so we can take uh, from here we can join the line and we can take the scaling factor as w2 to the power of 0 so a of 0 will be equal to x of 0 plus w2 to the power of 0 into x of 4 to implement the next uh, equation we'll join the line and we'll take the scaling factor as w2 to the power of 1 so it will be a of 1 will be equal to x of 0 plus W two to the power of one into x of four. So this representation is for x of zero and x of four for the output a of zero and a of one. Similarly, you can write it for x of two, x of six, x of one, x of five, x of three, and x of seven. So this is the third stage in 
d i t f f t for n is equal to e 8. Now, let us combine first stage, second stage and third stage to write a complete flow graph. So, after combining all the stages, we will get a complete signal flow graph like this. So, this is the first stage, this is the second stage of calculation and this is the third stage of calculation. So, this is the complete flow graph of d i t f f t for n is equal to e 8. Now, we can simplify this uh, signal flow graph. Generally, if we take input a and b, so this scaling factor can be written as w n to the power of r and this scaling factor can be written as w n to the power of r plus n by 2. So, the output here will be a plus w n to the power of r into b, here the output will be a plus w n to the power of r plus n by 2 into b. We have symmetric property as w n to the power of r plus n by 2 can be written as minus w n to the power of r. This is from the symmetry property. So, if you use the symmetry property here, so this term we can write it as minus w n to the power of r. Can so, we can write this entire term as minus w n to the power of r. So, here if we have minus w n to the power of r and here if we are having w n to the power of r, instead of writing two twiddle factor, we can write a single twiddle factor like this. So, let us take two input. We can write a single twiddle factor w n to the power of r and this value will be on this line and for this line it will be multiplied with minus 1. So, we can simplify the flow graph like this. So, instead of having this value we can take only single twiddle factor value and we can write minus 1 here. So, minus 1 into this value it will be minus w n to the power of r on this line on this line it will be w n to the power of r. So, using this analysis we have written the reduced flow graph here. So, for this reduced flow graph w 2 to the power of 0 is same as w 8 to the power of 0. So, we will take the twiddle factor w 8 to the power of 0 for this flow graph. So, that is why what we will do, we will take w 2 to the power of 0 as w 8 to the power of 0. So, if this is w 8 to the power of 0 on this line it will be minus w 8 to the power of 0. So, this term we can write it as w 8 to the power of 0 here and here we can write minus 1. So, w 8 to the power of 0 multiplied with minus 1 it will be minus w 8 to the power of 0 on this line and on this line it will be w 8 to the power of 0. Similarly, we have written for other values also and here in the second stage we have simplified the values as w 8 to the power of 0 and w 8 to the power of 2. So, those two values we have taken here and in the first stage we have written the values as w 8 to the power of 0, w 8 to the power of 1, w 8 to the power of 2, w 8 to the power of 3. So, this is the reduced flow graph for d i t f f t of 8 point d f t. So, once they ask the problem to perform fast Fourier transform for 8 point d f t, you need to use this reduced signal flow graph to solve the problem. So, this is about the radix to d i t f f t algorithm for n is equal to 8. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.